Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of July 28th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right. First card out, the Knight of Cups. So, oh. celebration, romance, Prince Charming coming in here for some of you. You know, this could be you offering your heart to somebody else or somebody offering it to you. Somebody's going to come in and save the day here for you and, and help you out unexpectedly, but it's going to make you feel cared about. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. So something in your life has definitely changed. This is could be a small lottery win for some of his. This, could, this is definitely more money coming into your life. You know, a higher rate of pay in a job if it's already existing for you. That career break that you've always wanted. You know, something is really on its way to you this week. And you have had this feeling for a while and now... It's here, it's arrived, and you're making decisions based on that. So that's really good for you. You know, you're not allowing yourself the luxury of just sitting there anymore. You're just excited with life again. You're moving forward. You're understanding that this is your time to shine. And the world card. Yeah, there is definitely a big change coming in for you. And it's not, like I said, it's not unexpected. You've come to the finish line. You've come to peace of mind with it as well. Now, this could be that you've retired from a job, you know, whatever it happens to be, but you are done with something in your life. You know, it's completed, it's done, it's over with, and you're starting over again. Nice, fresh, new ideas and dreams. You know, this is your fulfillment. This could be traveling in the future. You just decided to, you know, you now have the fundage. You're going to take a, a cruise something so simple but something so enjoyable but you're being very thrifty and happy about it as well and the star card yeah look at that you're believing in yourself again and i really like that you know this is the day that you've turned the key in a new direction you know out with the old in with the new you found your soul purpose your tribe and it's like magic. Once you believe that you're in the right spot at the right time, it's amazing. The universe is going to assist you and help you and keep that momentum going. And things in your life are just really starting to flow for you this week with enjoy. Ooh, and the four of swords. Yeah, taking some rest, relaxation, meditating, you know, taking a bit of a retreat and rewarding yourself. You know, you found your... You're fit, where you want to go, what you want to do. And wow, when you do, it's going to help you to relax. Maybe you were feeling a little run down for a while and you're realizing that, okay, I'll just take a time out, take care of myself, treat myself and, you know, let the rest of the world take care of itself. And it will. And you will feel so much better after this because your health and all that will return for you. And the devil card, yeah, you're stepping out of the shadows. You're letting go of old attachments and beliefs. You're understanding that this is now an opportunity to restructure your life around yourself. So something has really changed that has given you that thought of behavior needs to break the mold, step out of the, you know, out of the comfort zone and into a whole new way of doing things moving forward. Seven of Swords. So there's definitely been some tugs wagging, you know, with some sort of betrayal. And they thought they were getting away with it. You know, they, they, were, they were slick here. And you've taken action they didn't know. You defended yourself. You stuck up for yourself. You did what it was. You know, you're tired of all the trickery and the backsliding stuff. And you're just moving away from it. You're taking care of business first, making sure everything's in alignment for yourself. 
and then you're off. Oof, and look at that. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. This is a wish come true. I really like that one. And it's going to be so satisfying emotionally for you this week that, wow, it's going to give you not only comforts in life, but stability. And once you have that, you can breathe again. You feel like there's no more walking on eggshells and things around you are starting to go peacefully again for yourself. Yeah, and the moon card. Yeah, that definitely. There was a something that you were fearing and now you've understood that you can't do that. You know, you're taking care of yourself and your health. You're cutting out people, places, and things. Bad behavior, you know, taking care of your health. You're cutting out um, overindulgence in alcohol, food. In some cases, overdoing it with, you know, some drugs. Whatever it happens to be for you. But you've now changed the corner in your life because... People around you changed and you noticed it. You know, the rules changed, mood swings changed, and you've had enough. So now you're on a path to healing and helping yourself moving forward. So I really like that. And the King of Cups, yeah, there you are, standing your ground, secure, knowing what it is that you want. You're motivated to resolving problems. And you're dealing with problems. Like if there's a relationship problem going on anywhere, you're dealing with it. You're not just, you know, putting it on the back burner. You're actually taking it and, and dealing with it so that it can go more smoothly going forward. Because your personal life is very important to you around you. Now, whether that's a personal life in a job or a personal life in a family or a relationship, but it's very important for you to feel loved. And you're okay with where you're at in order to tell people there's certain things need to stop in order for things to keep going forward. And the justice. Yeah, there could be a divorce settlement here for some of this. You know, something that's needed to be dealt with fairly. Maybe there were some, you know, contracts, legal contracts that need to be signed. And you're making sure that everybody's getting their proper share of everything and not having to worry. So you're not going into this blindly. You're taking care of business the correct way. I'd like that. You know, and you're settling old accounts. People are settling up with you so that as you move forward, going after this settlement, that you don't have to worry about something coming back in the past to, from the past, to bite you. And that's the way it's going to be. You've already, you know, come to peace with yourself and knowing what it is you need to do, how you're going to take the steps going forward. And it will wind up very favorable for you. And the chariot, yeah. And you're motivated to make this progress and taking action. You're tired. You found, you know, you're in control. You found the willpower and control of this situation. And you found your own courage. You want to move forward. You're feeling stuck. You felt stuck for quite a while and you really hadn't taken action, but you won out of a dead end situation, you know, and you're understanding that unless you get a hold of the reins and start moving to heal yourself and taking the steps forward, it's not going to change. And that's what you're doing. You're making that change this week for yourself. You're motivated to change this. Some of you are motivated to taking, taking trips, Maybe you've always wanted to and you just sort of, you know, didn't. And now is the week that you're going to start to take those steps. They can be little trips. And the King of Wands, look at you, clear and determined and motivated to make changes. And like I said, many of you are making uh, plans to take trips because it's probably something you wanted to do for a while and you just held yourself back for who knows why but now is the week that you're actually taking action on stuff you know you're not getting carried away but you're you're making sure that there's slow and steady progress going forward you're in touch with what your needs are and how to help yourself and you're taking those steps going forward so i really like that you know you're taking approaches to things very diplomatically this week 
All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But I like that you're stepping up for yourself and changing things. All right. I am the angel of marriage, and I am assisting you right now. Hmm. There you go. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.